John, another busy week, and we're going to start this week by speaking about Robbie Morris and Lauren Pinella, who will be the New South Wales reps at the Australian Driving Championships. Yes, and rightfully so. Um, first and second on the state premiership last year, and that's the that's the premiership we go by. It's it's black and white. It makes it rather easy. Takes out all the conjecture, and and both very worthy. Uh, Lauren, um, she's a trendsetter. She's she's taken all before her and uh, is certainly a, a driver of great skill. And, and Robbie, he's ca- come on through the years to be where he is. He ran second last year to Lauren. And, of course, he represented uh, Australia only this year in, or New South Wales, rather, in the Australasian Championship in New Zealand. Good to see a, a male and female driver as well. Certainly. Uh, it, it's not designed that way. We, we look for the best, but um, it, it, we're just so fortunate we have such a dearth of talent in, in the female uh, drivers' uh, ranks and uh, last year it was likewise with uh, Blake Fitzpatrick and Amanda Turnbull so um, hopefully they go to Tasmania uh, on the on the 15th of November and represent New South Wales very well and come away with uh, the spoils. First and second would be very nice. What about the board vacancy at Harness Racing New South Wales? What's the latest there? Well we still wait. We stay, wait for the uh, government to sign off on, on a replacement or, or to fill the vacancy that is actually there um, at the moment, um, uh, we're, we're, we've been waiting since February. So we, we hope that that's just round the corner. And of course, uh, at present, they're calling for nominations. The government's calling for nominations for people who might may wish to go on that on the board next year. Of course, uh, Rex Horn retires uh, by legislation. He can't continue any longer. But uh, the other three vacancies, uh, Alex Smith, Graham Kelly and Rod Smith, they, they can reapply, and I'm sure they will reapply because they have serviced the industry very well over the last few years. Some some very smart people you've just mentioned, but it's important, you know, people out there in the business world who, who want to push harness racing in the right direction, they, they get involved if they've got the opportunity. Certainly, um, it, it's one of those things where you can make plenty of comments, but if you really want to make the strong comments, you step up, you put your name forward, and, and you go for one of these board positions. Um, as I say, uh, the existing board has served this industry so very well for a long time, led originally by Graham Campbell and moving through to Rex Horn. Um, Harness racing in New South Wales is particularly lucky to have these people. Um, uh, the, the government has uh, supported them all the way through the, the, the um, last four years in particular and uh, they've been strong, so strong. What about the Penrith development? Looking forward to getting out there on November 12 for their, for their big grand opening of the new stables. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful facility as far as stables are concerned. Um, I'm sure the participants, participants will like it. Uh, they'll be out of the weather. They'll be, uh, there have been a few complaints with the temporary arrangements we've had in for the last few months. But uh, the new stables, uh, they're, they're modelled on, on Bathurst, but I, I dare say they're improvement on Bathurst. They take in some of the concepts that were introduced at Menangle Park. So, yes, that's the uh, 12th of uh, November, and it, it will uh, coincide, of course, with the uh, PJ Hall, Lexus of Parramatta, PJ Hall Memorial, and it'll be a great race meeting. And finally, the claiming races. Just speaking with a few trainers in the industry, they're, they're a big fan of them. We just need more claimers. I certainly do, but uh, I've got to congratulate. Uh, this comes out of HIRIC and the Owners Association and the uh, UHRA pushed, along with the principal club, to have these claiming races reintroduced. Harness Racing New South Wales, certainly through the road shows, um, had a feeling that the uh, particip- participants wanted the claiming races, so we've put a concerted effort in. It's great that they are being supported, and only this week we have uh, 10 in it, uh, I think, uh, Menangle, and uh, nine in at Penrith so the ranks are there but we need more it's a bit like the trotters let's let's build them let's grow them and let's certainly give our owners the opportunity to race horses because it, it, it's their way of handicapping their own horse all right john thanks very much for that we'll speak with you again next week most certainly